Hi, my friends. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing really great, right? Getting ready for our special organization, Bad Humanity, for all of us. Okay, so here we have some updates about uniform, the organization uniform, the use of laptops, you know, um, helping neighbors with your own cell phone or your laptop only during the four weeks. And we have uh, some updates about the university test. Only students applying to university, they have to do their test at the adult education first. Okay, supervised adult education. So they have priority over those that will attend the adult education themselves. So for four first week or so, you know, it will be only university students that already have a degree. And if they already have a proper degree, that's okay because then they're going to be uh, have updates on our study. We're not going to refuse them as soon as their previous um, educational sites have a license. And also, if it was a... Um, course that we can accept cannot be two bad ones like uh, such as this. we're going to make a list okay of approved courses and of course they need to be from a licensed university okay my friends those are the basic updates and here they are and I see you soon hi my friends how are you doing I hope everyone is doing really great right Here's Goiana Ferreira, and we have updates for many different departments. Okay, so I'm going to be fast. The first thing is that whichever is happening in your life, just be strong and keep going. Be strong and keep going. So you're learning those videos. So I'm going to tell you to do four things all the time, over and over and over. You sing, you pray, you dance, and you study. You sing... You pray, you dance, and you study. Why is that? Because if you sing, in Brazil we have a saying that when we sing, we put what bad thoughts, negative thoughts away, right? So we keep singing. If you don't know our songs yet, the basic songs everyone going to know, right? These four simple basic songs. Sing the songs, the, the music that you know, with your own lyrics, having positive. So if you're going to plant, you're going to clean, you're going to cook, Keep singing because you're going to be practicing your voice. You're going to inspire the people of your house, okay? And then you're going to dance. So you're home. Hold the hand of your spouse, of your child, your teen. You know, dance there in the living room, in the kitchen a little bit, okay? All right, because that's important. Move a little bit. Get the white fabric. Dance around a little bit one way, another way, okay? All right, because that's very good. And then you pray, because my friends, we have to pray for this planet, we have to pray for ourselves and pray for the planet and pray for, pray for ourselves. Focus in God, remember to do your prayers in the morning, focus on having a very positive day, right? Plan your day, what you have to do, how you have to do it, what time you have to leave, don't be always on time, let's firm on a positive. Be on time, live on time. Always live ahead of time because you're not sure if place is going to be too busy or not, depending on what you have to do. If it's a health clinic, if it's a dental clinic, if it's a, uh, one of the schools, right, that is authorized to have it, wherever you have to go, okay, or to your own school, or to register your children, whichever you have to do, do it. Get it done. But live ahead, do things at time, and always sit with them before or after dinner. Sit and talk to the whole family. How was your day? Anything? You know, what is news? What they talk about? Any rules and guidelines? Because teachers need to do that as well. If parents have to do, teachers have to do, until everyone will be really good and keep repeating, repeating, repeating. They're not going to have at schools the instructions once. They're going to have the instructions daily, daily, taking turns. If they have an auditorium, they go to the auditorium because people cannot be outside to many people, you know, because it's hard to hear. But at the auditorium, have if you have a, a gymnasium with microphone, use your gymnasium microphone, but it's very important 
for children to hear you, okay? Afterwards, okay, you know, the classes, small groups, 20, 25 or 28, they can go outside, but large groups, some, some schools have 500, 1,000, 2,000 students, or even more, right? Okay, schools, universities, every, everyone. So that, and then you have to study. How are you going to study? Have free time, check our videos. Have free time, check our videos. And keep looking if, if we already posted at, on YouTube our website. Keep looking. Every other day, keep looking for our website. Okay? All right. Every day, you're going to look for, for uh, posted videos. See which one is the most important for you right now. What, what you already done? You did the two days clean up of your house, two days clean up of your business, or two days clean up of where you work. You know, you're sharing things. You know, if you have only one hour, okay, so you're going to work for the organization 10 minutes because people need to still work and until we establish everything with peace points. They need money, right? Some people need money. Not everyone have extra money. All right, so be wise. I said, volunteer for one hour. But of course, if you come 6, 7 o'clock p.m., you still need to, to change your schedule, to work only till 6, you still cannot work the whole day, you're going to work only in the morning, only in the afternoon, so all these things you have to do, you're going to register your ch child or teen at the school for, until 6 o'clock, so you can work, right, so all these things are important, if you're going to bring your parents to live with you, or to be your neighbor, you need to apply, you need to get a house under your name, all this, so you have to talk to your family, write down, get a notebook, don't have money for a um, records book yet, that's okay, get a simple notebook, pieces of paper, but organize them, and then you're going to write, as soon as you have a proper uh, brochure notebook, because some places, look, here in Florida, is 20, uh, I think 27, 28 dollars, one records book, it's a lot of money, I know, you know, a lot of people on the whole planet cannot afford that. Get a brochure notebook, you know, put the numbers on the top and get it done. But business need the proper official one because they have to find money somewhere. But for your house, do that. But get organized, priorities, this, this, and start checking until that whole list is done. So you're going to, but what's the priority number one, number two, number, go in order. And even in the middle of the way you see that something changed the order, it's okay. It's already written down. You just check, check, done, done. Because some take long time, like the health exams, dental treatment. Okay? All right. So, sing, dance, pray, and study. Sing, dance, pray, and study. To study, you get a little flashcard, go to work, you walk, or you take the bus still. What you still doing until you apply for a nearby position? All this count. Or if you're really moving to another city, make sure you get a computer somewhere. At the library, at your work, you know, talk to the owners, get written authorization for everything. So if you're going to use your work computer, okay, ask authorization to have one hour. Okay, you and your spouse there, or go to the local library, or whichever you, you have. If you have a neighbor with a laptop, go outside. If you have a neighbor laptop and internet, go outside. Ask them never go inside anyone's house. But you can be outside, close to their home if they have internet. Outside is okay for now. Okay? Because some people live in houses, and there are differences. If you have internet, you can help. Sit there, get a table if you have a folding table. Get a table, bring outside, help your neighbors, help your people close to you to get a new job at the same city, another city, another state, whichever they have capacity for it, okay? Because as I said, you're going to need plumbers, you're going to need electricians, you're going to need solar panels, you're going to need builders, we're going to need builders, all right? Okay, so, and then you, uh, street food is forbidden. So, if you need that money right now, it's okay. But as soon as you see, the, uh, after the organization launching day, that we are going to have peace points, everyone going to have one food to start planting, you know, because that's what's count. 
if you need right now it's still to sell street food to pay your rent to pay your basic electrician uh, electric bill that's okay but make sure you get organized fast because that's forbidden okay so let's say after the organization launching day because everyone will already have the four weeks Four weeks home, uh, maybe not, sorry. So you can have four weeks after the organization launching day, up to four weeks, okay? Up to four weeks, you can sell street food. After that, no more, because everyone would already buy some bags of lentils or some beans, you know, for protein, or some chicken, whichever meat that is available, put in their fridge, right? If they don't have a fridge, they have beans and lentils. And in four weeks, you already have your own sprouts growing. If you don't have seeds, you go to those schools, those registering schools. Every, all these four educational sites will have seeds to give to people that really do not have money. And parents that have money are going to give seeds to the school so they can share with others. Okay, buy the ones you have. GMO, non-GMO, because we need, we need sprouts, we need fruit trees, we need to get going. Okay, awesome. All right, so the other thing is for our uniform. So the uniform for everyone 15 years old and above, because when they are 15, let's do 18, 18. Because by 18 years old, everyone will already have an idea of their body, like the girls' boobs or the men, how tall they get, women too, right? Males and females, how tall they get. So if 18 years old, I think that's really good. 18 or 16, I tell you an answer afterwards. No, let's do 18 because then it's for sure. Because that uniform, our uniform, will last forever, forever. Yes, we can wash it prop. Nobody's going to eat with it. No, nobody going to be playing around or sit in the mud or sit, you know, so it will be dark jeans pants because we can sit on the grass. If it's not muddy, we can sit on the grass. If it's wet, we can sit, we are going to sit on, every family will have a bed sheet, a dark bed sheet, so it won't stain, you know, it will last for many, many years, okay? All right. This white shirt, that's our uniform, so it, it's an improvement here. It's not going to be orange, as I said before, because then we already do on the proper way. It's easy. Right now, we are going to do with what we have. The cotton we have, the fabric we have, okay? All right. Right now, also, we are going to do with some synthetic material, because they don't wrinkle, it's easy to wash, they don't need pressing, um, and they also, they're, they're very good, you know, they're going to be a little thick, not too thin, okay, and uh, you're going to see the type of fabric, we're going to decide, you know, like the texture, if it's more stiff or a little more softer, because we want people to sit comfortably during, during our um, religious meeting, and also for special events, because we are going to use this on special events, right when we go to parks or you know especially organization events and we also gonna use for all our religious meeting all right now this same uniform okay so that will be more or less rough but not too rough not too soft uh, it's like a type of jeans type okay uh, for children up to 17 years old, um, they are also going to have uniforms and also with their name embroidered on their uh, pocket. Yeah, I think that's the best. Okay? Um, pocket? No, we don't need a pocket. Pocket for what? We don't have anything to put in it. it will be just the name. So here, no pocket. Yes, collar, you know, like collar shirt, okay? Yes, we're going to have collar. And um, we're going to have two top buttons, two top 
buttons only not buttons all around and as I said will be a half soft and a half stiff fabric like more or less like jeans you know flexible but not too stiff and everyone everyone from one year old until elders gonna wear this white coat let's call call it white coat instead of shirt because everyone really know which one it is that will be used only used only for those special activities meetings and events i told you all right so we are not eating it's forbidden to eat with it people uh, if they have their community we're gonna have some um, food or not afterwards i don't know that part i guess not because it takes too long and people are gonna use their day right yeah the people eat at home i think that's really reasonable and they have other fountains they drink done so no no food afterwards no food afterwards uh the religious meeting at home the parks yes but then the the parents will have a bag will fold them put them in tuck them in so you have to wash hands wash hands before and after you wear this coat because we don't want this coat dirty okay and if you got sweat it's mandatory to wash it if it's winter time that's fine you can use the next week again the same coat don't have to wash it okay all right the pants it's it's jeans dark jeans because we need to be really useful right now so i guess here dark blue jeans for 20 years after that i'm gonna tell you um if we're gonna have royal blue or which blue will be the best because it will be jeans jeans is, is the best okay so we'll steal jeans i just the tone i'm gonna tell you afterwards okay because right now it's the most convenient it's easy you can wash over and over and over and over and over they need to have really this um products they have nowadays so they don't leach uh color and they're washed so we will have clothes for 20 years all adults will have that pants that pants is not to go other places is it's reserved so your uniform everyone gonna have the organization uniform for special events and for the religious meeting gonna be a little more uh, baggy you know like uh, not bag that's not the right word comfortable comfortable fit okay all right so the tone the color tone i'm going to tell you after if it will be royal because it's gonna be hard for us to do dark blue we're not doing dark blue anymore okay will be one of the types of the blue but i don't know um, which one each country will be able to do according to the plants they have okay so we are going to have some tones that people can make from that to that but for now people can use that same pants adults they're not changing their body right everyone gonna be fit healthy and strong will be the same body until they are what eight years old or so and then then they start to get a little um uh, thinner a little bit but even that if we are strong keeping strong we're not changing for 40 50 60 you're gonna still the same because people are gonna still working out it's not like they now this generation okay and if needed it's okay they go to the thrift store and they will have in a separate area um uh, some pants okay and children's children's um shirt all right we will have for now for this uh first 20 40 years we will have everyone gonna have their name embroidered embroidered everyone okay we are going to have embroidered machines at the high schools and adult education okay so we get everything done now for these uniforms for towels because that's useful for now because as I said, people have different germs. They're going to adopt 
people, children, teens, we are going to have parents with us, we are going to have people from all different places. So one thing is to hug each other, you know, uh, sorry, not hug, hold hands with each other of different genes, right? So the teens, the young adults are going to be kissing others of other genes, that's one thing. Because we exchange things even from the air, right? That's Everyone knows that. But um, it's important for us to really be careful now because not everyone got warm medicine, not everyone is really healthy yet. So people have things that don't, they don't even know they have. In many places, labs are not trustful. Imagine, in some countries, they don't have, you know, uh, they're not trustful 100%. In some countries, the lab, in, in some labs are trusted, but like the doctor said, this is good. Go to this lab because this lab is trustful, not that one. Okay, but the problem is not in the lab. The problem many times is in the clinic that took the blood, the clinic that took the specimen for the yearly check, like for the female check, for example. That's the problem. Sometimes they don't disinfect things properly, my friends. It's a serious thing. Here in the United States, you ask for a parasite exam, you know, just which type? They don't do a complete type. Do you believe that? My friends, this is forbidden. If they ask for a warm, you know, test, right? A, a warm test. It needs to do all of them. 10, 20, all of them. Let's say 20 different ones. Yes, a very simple. You know, some of them need to take right the beginning of the stool and some of them, you know, because that's where it comes more, you know, and I think that's the one we are going to do, but we have to do it, you know. Or already take meds in some countries. They share bathrooms with different families. They don't even have a bathroom inside their homes. Or if they have, they don't clean, they don't wash. Some families have a bathroom and they don't wash weekly. They don't disinfect weekly. You know, the floor is very dirty, full of germs, because they don't close the lid of the toilet, or they don't even have a lid on the toilet. Okay? So what we're going to do, my friends, everyone on those situations are already going to take Ivermectin. Ivermectin, take lice out, take worms out, a lot of it. And proper details we're going to give you afterwards. So you're going to see... People that have bathroom, you know, was not clean, or people did not have bathroom, people that share, depending where they live, they were drinking bad water. So some people, my friends, they're so weak, they can't even have a strong medicine for now. Yeah, so it's a lot of work, but they cannot wait too long to move to their new city, their new, you know, might be a neighbor, might be, you know, someone your children play with at school. But they're weak. Some people is malnourished. They're so skinny, so skinny. They can't even move. My friends, we need a lot of kindness, a lot of love, and really share money, share kindness, share work, and really help and volunteer and help and volunteer. You know, even that you need money yourself, you need to get this going. All right? Okay. So the children, since they're born, they're going to also have... A coat. It's a little bit down of their, um, everyone, a little bit down from the end of their butt line for everyone. So let's say if, um, for adults, I think we need 8 centimeters or 10. I will let you know because we're going to sit and move. Okay, going to be a little longer. And for children, I think about 4 centimeters long, right? I think that's really reasonable. But I'm going to tell you details because we're not going to make this until we really go over the detail. Nobody's going to be doing those things. All right? And for infants, for infants too, children, infants, four centimeters long after the end of their butt line. Because people are going to sit, going to move, or if they're going to pick up something on the top of a cabinet, or I don't know. Okay? Or if, um, yeah, whichever it is. All right, so these details I'm going to tell you afterwards. Okay, let's keep going. So we have here um, for children, 
4 centimeters long and 14 and adults 8 or 10 8 or 10 centimeters longer than the butt line okay all right so we talk about their uniform and everyone will have the embroider embroidered name no pocket okay no pocket because we really don't need to carry anything all right people will have the key always at their pants not at the pocket we have no pocket okay for adults uh, that are 18 years and already have a body of a, an adult because some teens they didn't work out they didn't need help they're really skinny i'm not talking about those i'm talking about um, adults that are, were eating healthy, were working out, already have a, a form body that we will have in the future. I'm talking about those adults. We'll have a tag. Okay. Oh, I have an improvement. Everyone will have, you know, the, the embroider with big stitches. The, the tag, name tag. Let's put here. Name tag. We'll have um a big stitches will be easy for someone you know those tiny very tiny scissors with a tiny point very easy they click 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 and put another tag why because some people is already old right they're already eight or nine or some people are very unhealthy so they might not last many many years so everyone so the soft stitches soft uh, not soft, sorry. Big stitches, stitches, okay, um, will be easy to, to change. And everyone going to use, everyone that already have a body of an adult will use until they pass away. Okay, all right. So we are doing great. Okay, the other, um, so we are doing, sorry. Okay, so uh, when you, you saw the stitches, everyone going to have that name. So if they change, for example, children, teens, some children have gross spurts, they grow a lot, you know, some might even change every year. And then they have a break and then another year, more and more. So as soon as that coat is too tight, they just take the tag out, bring to adult education or... Uh, high school because everyone gonna have a family going to these places right they always gonna be studying at their school so they bring and get a new one okay they bring at the first week of school the first week they bring to the school okay i think that's um yes so we will have those coats at a school yeah at the school, not at thrift stores, not at thrift stores, because this is really, uh, we're going to be cared, not thrift stores. Okay, so at the school, every high school, students going to have their classes, so they will return those coats, um, I guess in two weeks or so, right, up to two weeks, no more, because some schools, as I said, they have a few hundred of students and many children grow up during their vacation so um, and need to last the whole year school year okay need to last so cannot be tight uh, need to last the whole year the only exception is for teens because teens are gonna start working out a lot they're gonna start having a partner they're going to have uh, make love and all this gonna make their body big, they can change. So only those teens, 15 to 19 years old, they can change of six months, all right? During the semester break, they can bring the first week of that. If it's really tight, that's fine. For everyone else, it's uh, one school year, school year, children of all ages. And maybe some infants, yeah, I think infants too, you know. But um, let me put here, infants, 
I have a question mark. Infants and toddlers, because they grow so much in one year, right? Okay, so let's do six months for infants and six months for those older teens, okay? Everyone else, it's only in a school year. Okay, they will be processing them, process, process. You start with the olders, because uh, that first week you have a meeting, you know, um, the older students to the little ones, okay? All right, and they are ready to send home the best they can, so they're going to be sowing a lot of those. And in the same way for these 28 weeks, they start with the older ones, right? The parents and everyone else, and hopefully, of course, before the school starts, because people are already going to be studying. Uh, soon after this four weeks break at home, you know, because we're going to do the best we can to do counties or whole state. Okay, so for that whole state, those are the four weeks. For another state, those will be the four weeks. And for us to, to be easier to monitor, okay? To monitor and everyone to be home, home, okay? They are going to run, work out at their own street, if it's gate commune, they're going to run inside. If it's a available place, they're going to run in the street because every gated community already have their own street. They're not going to be around talking to other people, no. And residential communities that's not gated, they are going to run at their own street. Own street. Because everyone have their own street. Okay? Unless it's really tiny... And um, it's no exit, because it happens. Some are really, really tiny. But most of them keep running right there. Run, run, run right there. Okay? All right. This is very important. So what we're going to do, this is another thing. So it's a state for weeks. The states that we already have officially now, because it will be easier. Um, so it is what's official now. Because that will be easy for people to know. Everyone already knows which state they are. Because even municipality, I tell you, my friends, some people don't know how to read and write. But everyone knows which state they live. So that's what we're going to do. The four weeks at home, the four weeks at home going to be for that whole state. Nobody goes anywhere. So we're going to send the news, or even for the whole country, because some countries are really small, all right? And even the big ones, if it's possible, we're already going to establish. And the best as possible for, for everyone, uh, all countries. So, but let's give that. We're going to do uh, home, the four weeks home. The four weeks home, going to be for the whole state. The whole country, country, or for the whole planet. Okay? All right, let's see how it goes. Because hopefully it will be the same four weeks as the international conference. Everyone would already, if they sell food, we already give or sell. They cannot keep perishable food. People are going to bring it home to use. Okay? Salads. Um, fruits, vegetables, they have to close their establishment for weeks and give everything and empty them out because after that, going to be only food distribution, okay? They have to sell or give, okay? Unless they are proved to be a distribution or the owner is going to apply to be, that's okay. If they want to apply, that's fine. But they have to sell fruits and vegetables, everything, and they keep what's non-perishable if they want to apply. But if they sell food that's not authorized, they also give. They cannot keep because after these four weeks, you're not giving bad food to people. So if you have breads, if you have uh, frozen uh, food that's not authorized, if you have... Um, bad can food, a lot of preservatives and things. All this is not authorized, you cannot give afterwards. The cans, you know, aluminum cans, that you can still sell afterwards, will be olive oil, will be, for example, beans with salt, will be, even chloride is okay if you have, for example, um, um, no, 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 no chloride. You can only have salt, 
the beans and the salt, okay? And if the can, uh, let me think, if the can, no, because you're not having can afterwards. Yes, if you have can, you give it now, because, you know, we are going to send cans after, only straight from distribution center to people that really need, because if the people have a stove and have electricity, and if they have the bean itself, that's what they're going to eat. Cans will be only given to people that do not have a stove or they do not have electricity. And that's it. Okay? That's it. Everyone else that have electricity and a stove, they cannot purchase food anymore. So you know, the owners know where they live, right? For example, in the United States, everyone have electricity because those that don't have money, they get from the government, right? Okay, and solar panels will be installed in a proper way. We install everything first, get first, that's another thing. First, we will install solar panels. Then we will take out right the old electric system right that's obvious but i'm just saying because some people don't think right and i don't want anybody doing things to hurt other people because my friends some people do things they know they're hurting someone and they keep doing for money or even without money do you believe that it's true some people, they know, because some people does not know. That's different. They're hurting others with some practice that someone asked them to do or something, but they don't know. But some people know they're hurting others and still doing. So I, I have to say, first we install all the solar panels. Even before the solar panels comes the roof, strong roof. And then number two, so number one, a strong roof. Number two, solar panels, right? Number three, take out the old, um, old electric system, the plugs, the wires on the wall, right? So, wires, old wires, and old plugs, okay, all right. But the new one was already installed. So they install solar panels. The number two, install solar panels, install wires, new wires, and new plugs. Because it's going to be the same system, the same electric system for all countries. And not going to be three holes. going to be two. We had that in Brazil before. We can have it. You know, simple. Two, because we don't need four. Four is too much. Not needed. Okay? All right, you're doing really great. Once I'm talking about this, we're also going to have our cell phone's charger box with no wire because it's not needed. As soon as you start making them, approve them, and producing them, distribution, distributing them, we're already going to have them, okay? All right. So, going to be like a little box you slide you slide the cell phone right there by your plug. Right there, you slide. Okay? All right? Okay. So, that's what it is. Okay, my friends. Uh, now I have an improvement. The laptop that I said for your... You can help your neighbors. Only, only if you're doing outside your house, you have internet. Because some places, my friends, in the middle of nowhere, rural areas... And it's even rare for someone that have internet. People don't even have cell phones. So if you are on that situation, that's okay. You can use your laptop to help people. Okay? To help people. But after, after the four weeks at home, it's no more. So... You're going to be in trouble if you're not following these rules and guidelines. Because, for example, here we live. I am about one hour from the, my closest library. They have 
computers available. There have plenty of computers available for people to use. That's different. I'm talking about places that really in the middle of nowhere, that only a few people here and there have a laptop. So you're going to charge at night and then people use in the morning. Then you charge again lunchtime, you know, and then people can use in the afternoon. Your neighbors, all right? People that you trust, of course, that not going to mess up your laptop. You have to be careful, okay? For what reason? So they can check, they can learn. Uh, they can start uh, uh, learning about our program, okay? Uh, or you can study yourself and offer the basic, but then you have to be really good, you know? Maybe that's the best, because they're not going to register. People that have diploma, they show you the diploma, they can apply for jobs, that's okay, if they have the diploma. So, let's do an improvement here. You can use your laptop with your house internet if you have a table outside your house, okay? On a street, if it's safe, if you have a pedestrian walk, some places, my friend, they have black, they have uh, uh, dirt roads. They don't even have black top, right? I know really well the situation. Okay, so you're going to bring the table, even the yard, very close to your gate or gate area. That's okay. Not too close. They cannot come inside your house. They cannot walk at your garden. You know, as soon as you have internet, that's okay. Only for these four weeks at home. That's okay. You're going to help them to look for a job. And you can practice and guide them with the basics. What's the basics? Dress appropriately, do the two, two days clean up, you know, whichever is your reality there, whichever they don't know yet. Um, about food, you know, if they have garden to start planting, you're going to guide them whichever you have. You know, you're going to study, make your flashcards and teach them instead of, uh, them each family study themselves you're gonna guide them what you can help if they show their diploma you know and requirements for a job you can do for them yeah don't let them touch your computer or your cell phone ever okay here's an improvement okay you have a laptop to apply or you have a cell phone you can help other people you hold it at all times all minutes all seconds never ever um, if they have a password, so make sure you turn the phone, you know, and they have only what? Two seconds to practice their password, okay? Or they tell you the password yourself. Yeah, because in two seconds they cannot hurt your cell phone or your laptop. I think that's the most reasonable, okay? All right? And, um, or they can put the beginning of the password password and you put in they have only two seconds one and thousand two and a thousand that's a second two seconds okay all right that's how we do it okay and then after that if they put the beginning of their password the rest you can do it because then they're gonna have schools they renew their passwords anyways okay all right so that's only if these neighbors you have don't have internet, don't have money. Because I know, my friends, some places, like in Brazil, some places, it's hard, right? And I'm sure in Africa, Asia, many other places. Okay, uh, I'm not generalizing. Because every country have rich people, poor people. They have the city with many things. And they have rural areas with everything, uh, without many things. Okay? All right. So that's how it is. So you can make a simple flashcards and just tell the basics. The two days clean up, dress code, um, uh, the study documents they're going to need. Uh, uh, they need the clinics, right? Documents, just the basic, okay? And of course, this four weeks is for community planting. You're going to be checking ahead of these four weeks uh, which land is available, uh, like property, places already, uh, residents already know, like, for example, parks that are available right there. They know it's a public park. They can already have authorization to start planting um, basic food, not trees, because the trees need proper study, right? They need proper study where they're going to be located, how far from each other, but regular uh, fruits, vegetables, we can start planting, okay? All right. Um, 
always check the sun, plant the taller ones on the back and the smaller ones on the front. Okay, so I think, let me see what else is important for now. Um, so, I talk about that, no street food, um, after four weeks from the organization launching day, okay? And everyone should already have food. All right, so if you have money, if you don't go to supermarkets, get your food or purchase online. If you have extra money, purchase for, for someone that you need during these four weeks or even the four weeks afterwards. Purchase extra, please, purchase extra, you're going to need, okay? All right? Um, to help, so we can help each other, okay? So I think basically is that, some basic um, updates and so on. Okay, so when everyone going to sign their waiver that we're going to complete, they're signing for everything, for the computer care, because we'll be forbidden to use laptops afterwards. Right now, we're going only to use where it's really needed, but as soon as our new computers will arrive, our own new computers, you know, all the laptops are going to be sent to recycling, but now they will be useful at adult education, at schools, because, you know, we're going to use what we have. We're going to receive those donations from houses, residents, from everywhere, right? And after that, we are going to, they're going to share. They can't leave that room. They can't bring home. They can't bring to another room or even beside room. They can't. Laptops are going to stay at their own room. So if you have 20 or 40 in counters, you know, you're going to put counters always beside the walls, right? Those classrooms, that's how it's going to be. Um, always beside, because the teacher is going to be walking around and see what each person is doing. So those laptops, as soon, but pay attention, as soon as they're checked first, you know, they're checked first, so um, uh, to block, like there is a way, because here the library, they do it, they block, no one can download anything, no one can, you know, if they can download, as soon as they're turned off, everything disappears. We have only the organization items, okay? As I said, as soon as our own computers will arrive, the laptops will be recycled, okay? If it's enough for everybody, of course. Okay, so we might use during the whole 28 weeks and some places, depends. We are going to do the best we can to start sharing, you know, and where's the most needed. So the laptops will stay more at schools because most likely children don't know how to put bad things on them, right? And the real computers we're going to send first to university, all the university students, because they're smart, we don't want anyone to messing up putting bad programs in it, and then to adult education. But first, all universities, first, we receive our own laptops, and after that, our adult education. When those two places are completely done with all computers they need, and then we can have. So, it's forbidden to use laptops at universities and at adult education okay and um, high school because many high school my friends some people you know some parents they know adults they know how to be hackers hackers right to go into um, good things and bad things because about the same the system the same how to improve a system how to fix or how to enter other people. So it's about the same. That's the problem. So some people learn how to be hackers, but they're not actually hackers. It's just their job to fix, to improve, right? Programs and apps and things like that. So we have to be careful, okay? All right. And of course, it's forbidden to teach if you know anything. Right? It's forbidden to, to teach your spouse, your children, any bad of those practices. All right? And uh, we're going to have this, um, those computers produced in very safe locations and distribute them as soon as possible. 
Now, you wonder, how are we going to do the, those tests? With what we have available, it's what we have, what we have, what's already there. Okay? All right. What we already have. So, if universe don't have too many computers, oh, well, that's what we're going to do for now. But I think we need to establish no laptops. Okay? Or we can uh, let the laptops uh, for a specific amount of time, four weeks, for everyone to be able to register. Um, actually, they cannot go to universe without registering, without all the paperwork. They can only go to adult education. Adult education. So let's do that. At the adult education, it's okay to have laptops. Yeah, because we need to do something, right? So, at the adult education, it's okay to have laptops in a specific room. They don't leave the room. So, we always have four with four uh, adults, two couples, with two couples. You know, so they can walk around, but only somebody going to be checking the door with a, a little desk right there by the door. No one come in with backpack or bags anyways, and no leave, no one leave that room with a laptop and, and you know, or anything else in the room. No cords, right? Because that's the problem. They have cords. They have quite many things on those rooms. Okay? All right. So, two couples at all times at the adult education computer room. And also, these educational sites that are applying, people are applying to, to rest. They have all their documents, they already check, okay, they're good to go to the computer because people are going to do in paper first, remember? All right, okay? And they are going to do online only when the piece app and the website is ready, okay? All right, my friends, so here's some updates. I think we did great. And please keep posted because many things can improve. Can improve in a day, can improve in an hour, and then I post a new video with updates. But I think that's what we're going to do because people to go to universe, they have to have all their documentation in paper. Oh, everything paper, you know. And the tests that they can do will be done at the adult education. So, here, university. University tests will be done at the adult education. Because until we have our proper computer, it's going to take time. Because we need to check all these details at well, the conference, the international conference. We're going to check our participants if they have anything else to add, okay, improve. Okay, and then we're going to send to people that can make, produce them themselves, okay? And then after production, we have to send them to people to make sure they did in the right way. We have to check them. We cannot just trust. You know, can be really close by or even neighbors are close by, not neighbors. You know, to be checking them. It needs to be another group of people. Yeah, they can be neighbors. Yes, put them in a cart and roll them on a street. Okay? In proper boxes and everything. And then completely other people are going to be checking what the producers did. Make sure it's it's right, it's correct, it's... it's uh, it's the right thing. Okay, my friends, you're doing really great, and I see you soon. Thank you so much for your participation, and have a blessed, healthy, happy, and motivated day. Okay, I have some improvements for our uniform. We are not using the word shirt, we're not using the word coat. We are using our organization uniform our organization uniform. Those are the words we're going to use, okay? All right, so this is an improvement. Another improvement is that uh, the leaves can be a half up to the um, half of the, uh, until the elbow. I think that's good because if it's really hard, people can fold just twice or so, right? And the other option is long sleeves, 
okay? Because we have young people, we have people with different temperaments, we have elders, we have a, a variety of people. In, independent of the country is hot or cold, that's not a moment for us to be practicing how to handle heat, how to handle cold. That's not the moment. We have to focus to have good religious meetings. We can practice this in other moments, at school, working out, at home, day, time, winter, cold, days. All right, so that's the two options. Everyone is going to choose which option they have. And they can, yes, they can fold, okay? So if it's a half shirt out to the elbow, they can fold twice. If it's a long during hot days, right? If it's a long sleeves, it's okay as well, and they can fold. We are not going to have a button there because it's not needed. We're just going to be a little, ah, we're going to need a button, yes, because to fold, right, we need a button. Okay, so we are going to have one button only. In each side, that will be fine. And with that cut, you know that cut on a side, so that will be good. So people in summer, they can fold a little bit, right, or, or, or more, all right? It needs to be comfortable, you know, like it cannot be too tight, um, and it will be straight, you know, because some, some shirts for women can be a little narrowed down by the waist. That's okay, you know, going out. We're not doing that uh, at work or things like that. So some, some shirts to go out with their partner, that's okay. Their husbands, that's okay. Um, but as I said, not to work and not to educational side. It's going to be straight because, you know, to be discreet. Okay. So our uniform, our organization uniform, go also be straight and long. So about 10 centimeters or so, I think that's really good, right? Because if we see it, you know, if we see it, yeah, I think about 10 centimeters, I think that will be good, reasonable, okay? And for, for children as well, you know, four centimeters. So teens, um, I think, let's say, let's go teens or after, I think after 11 years old. Yeah, let's do 11 years old and above here, 11 years old and above, 10 centimeters. Okay? Because so they can start also practicing that. Because as I said, that's not a moment... Uh, to be thinking about those other things. And um, sheets can be those four colors, dark four colors. Can be the dark brown, can be the dark blue, you know, can be the um, uh, dark red, regular red, and can be what? And, and dark green. Okay, not like almost black, no, but a little dark because um, so people can sit and we have every family with their own color and they're going to last for a few decades. Wash properly once a month, right? And I think that it's very important, me and the torch to wash it once a month because as I said, our soil the same way. We're, we're cleaning, we're getting used to it. So very, it's me and the torch to wash once a month um, let's say up to, I don't know how long, maybe for 10 years, um, because afterwards, you know, sometimes, yeah, on winter time, if you don't use, that's okay, but going to use four times, yeah, we have to wash once a month, always, forever, once a month, okay?